A few days ago, the president opened a park. Well, so, like we said, like we said, like we said, you know, the, 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 the structure that were constructed here, and, you know, will be turned over to the owner of the unit today. You see the those people are here to receive their keys from President Weir. Thank you. 
in some matano magil the minister of state the minister of state no matter how we say it million times here today, thank you, thank you, and I enough. We want to leave the thanks and the appreciation of the might of God in. On behalf of the whole entire community, for the battle of our heart, that the president, thank you, let God bless you, let God bless the state. Your thank you. Now we're entering the house to see her. Now we're entering the house to see what is in the house. The president did not yet build the house. He fully furnished the house, I'm sure. So we're now entering to see what is in the house. See how the place is. The place is well, well. Now you see. Now, oh my God! You see the house. The house is well furnished. I mean, well furnished with everything in it. The president did not just build the house. He furnished. He furnished the house. I mean, this is unprecedented in our country history. To see, yeah, yeah, they were all seeing. I mean, this is unprecedented. Fully furnished, fully furnished. Everything in it. They just come in. The only thing they bring in this house is their clothes. You see the room, oh my word, this is, there's a bed already in this room with a closet that is already here. The bathroom is also, oh my word, another room here also, another room also here, another room also here, you just need to move in with the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, oh my word, oh my word. I mean, I see tears in the eyes of the people. The bathroom is also here. Yeah. I mean, come on. I mean, imagine the people that used to do it in Dudu Board. You remember what they call Dudu Board? No more. They throw in the plastic, but they no longer throw in plastic. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, three bedroom, three bedroom all furnished, three bedroom all furnished. Uh, uh, my man, uh, what's your name? I mean, how you feel about this place? How are you? How long have you been living here? I've been here since 2005. And you expected something like this to come here? Well, uh, when the whole thing started, we didn't believe it. I didn't expect something like this to come. But uh, actually, now I believe that. You know, so, what can you say to people that say, President, we are never going to do this? I know President Weah is a grassroots one. He, he came through the same life, and I know he could do it. So, those people that are seeing that President Weah going to do it, well, they are, they are, they are propaganda. I mean, this is it for you there. Imagine. This is it for you there. That's it. Okay, this is Pepsi Yeke. As you know, Pepsi is a, the hair for Liz. Liz is the one responsible for these many construction that is unfolding in all parts of the country. I mean, uh, Mr. Yeke, what is your take about what this president is doing, especially in terms of the whom he's constructing all around the country? As you know, this is not a surprise, or uh, this is not the first home the president has built. He started this uh, about four to five years back. As you can recall, in uh, Grand County, we have more than 285 homes. If you go 
right here for two pages. We've got more than 100 plus more. You go in Lima, you can see housing unit. You go in Bomb, you see housing unit. So this is a phenomenon. This is something that he has decided to do. And then we we'll keep going there and see how we can take our people from kind of a idea property. We all went in the building, you saw what we are looking at. Those are sliding windows. Those that are bad from in the house. Most of the people here were going out there to use the bathroom. Now you can stay in your own house and have a bathroom. These houses are fully electrified. So this is something that he intends to do and then we'll continue to help the president to see how we can build more of this home. And the best part of it is uh, it's free. So they don't have to pay a dime. Absolutely. So, no, they don't have to pay a dime. So everything is furnished. All you need to do is with your bags and just start to relax. So I just about to ask that because a lot of my viewers asking what, what is the requirement to to have access to this room. I think the requirement is to just be living in a facility where the president will consider a home that he needs to rebuild. So once you are living in that place and then he decides to build new home, then you are actually lucky to be a home that home. So there is no criteria say that you need to be from this party, you need to be from this tribe. So everyone that was here was given a free home. So we don't know who are the parties of this place. It could be anybody from different political parties. So we did not go on a party line. Thank you so much, Mr. Pepsi Yeke. I was the voice of Pepsi Yeke there, you know, talking about, I mean, like we always said, uh, what can we say better? I mean, a, I always say this, a president that has come to alleviate our people from the age-old problem. This is what you see here. This is what you see here. Thank you. I mean, you see people expressing their excitement there. This is what you see. Okay. So we just talked to them. President, we are, yeah, Philip, you are right, President, we are will definitely face it. And the man behind the camera, Arlene Cooper. The man behind the camera, Arlene Cooper, is here. He's the man behind the camera. The man behind the microphone, Smith Toby, is also here. Thank you. Yeah, he's. <laughs>